In this video, I'll be showing the best way to get coins fast in islands as of 2021 January, so make sure to subscribe with notifications on for more islands videos and like the video. The best way to get coins is by trading. If you try to get coins by farming crops, you're going to get a little bit, but not really much at all. And then if you try to get coins by selling items to any of the NPCs besides the crops guy, then you're going to get barely any coins from that. The best place to trade is Discord, but if you don't have Discord or you're not able to get Discord, then you can go over to the teleport menu, and there are a lot of published island shops. Now, they're going to have buy and sell most of the time, so you should buy things that are a good price, sell things that are a good price to be sold for, and the best place to get values is my value list, because I update it every update, and I also update the high demand items pretty frequently, and most of the items in the shops are high demand items. So yeah, my value list will be linked in the description, it has the most accurate values, so if you're at a shop, if something is selling for under the value, then you should buy it, especially if it's like a lot under the value, and if something is selling for over the value, don't get it, but if you can sell something there for over the value, then you should sell that to make profits. But be aware of low demand items, like if you don't see them frequently sold in a lot of shops, they're probably low demand, and they're harder to trade off and find people to buy them. So I recommend don't really trade low demand items. But like I said earlier, the best place for trading is Discord. So you can join the official Roblox Islands Discord by going over to the Islands game page on Roblox. Then scrolling down a little bit, then you're going to see something that says social links. And you can click the Discord picture that says Roblox Islands by it to join there. And there's a trading channel. So in the trading channel, just say what you're trading and like say what you're selling and what you're buying then there is a cooldown there though and also if you send the same exact message twice then it's going to delete the second one so like put different stuff each time i guess then the other good place for trading is my discord server which is linked in the description and there's a channel called islands trading so you can say what you're buying and what you're selling and make sure your dms are on for either discord server because you're going to need them on so people can DM you for offers and things for trading. But make sure you don't get scammed, watch out for scammers, never go first, like always just do vending machine trades, and if something seems very suspicious or too good to be true, then don't trust it, just be very careful whenever you're trading and don't get scammed. Anyways, those are the places to trade, but whenever you are trading, I'm gonna give you guys some really good tips. So if you're trading on Discord, or even just trading in anywhere really, only do trades that are kinda big. Of course, if you just go to a published island shop, then you can buy whatever you want and it's fine. But to not waste your time, if you're trading with someone just like not having a big published island shop or anything, you're just normally trading with someone with vending machines, only do big trades. Don't waste your time with small trades. If you're completely new to the game though, then I'm gonna just recommend you guys to do the quests at the PvP island to get Cutlass. Not entirely sure when they're removing it, but you just have to do three days of quests, and then you'll get the cutlass. Currently, it is worth 10 million coins. Well, it's worth 20 million, but you can sell it very easily for 10 million coins. And you can definitely sell it for 20 million, though. It might just be a little harder to do. You could probably even sell it for higher than that. But if you're not able to, then just try to sell it for a little lower. And then if you're trying to buy the cutlass then buy it for maybe around 5 million coins, maybe a little bit more. Again, my value list is going to be linked in the description, so that value is definitely going to change soon again, because it's changing every other day or so. So just check out if you're watching this video a bit later. But that's very good if you're new, because you can just sell that. Then you just need a fishing rod to get propellers, and then propellers are going up right now, and you can easily sell them for like 1.5 million, you can definitely get 2 million or more, and they're high demand, and if you're trying to buy them, then maybe try to buy them for 500k to 750k, 
always try to buy items for a little bit less than the value. If they're extremely low demand, though, try to buy them for, like, way less than the value. But if you're selling the item, try to sell it for a bit more than the value. But if no one's buying it, then try to sell it for a little bit less than that. But never go, like, I'd say a fourth below the value. You can go below the value a little bit whenever you're selling a stuff. But still, try to always sell it for a, around the value or a bit more. But then... After you do that, like, if you farm for the Cutlass and you get it, of course they're gonna remove that in the next update, I'm pretty sure. Which might be tomorrow, if they remove the Cutlass, just do the propeller thing. But if you sell the Cutlass, and you get, like, 25 million on it, then you can try to buy, like, 25 or 35 propellers or somewhere around there. Sell those for 2 million, or maybe even more, get around 75 million coins repeat that, maybe buy some more cutlasses, but cutlasses are dropping right now, so make sure you sell them fast. Like, if you get one, try to sell it within the next few hours, at most the next day. But then after you do that and you get a bit of coins, which you can probably get to around 100 million just with cutlasses and propellers, you're probably going to want to start trading some other items to profit even more. So there's the Cactus Spike, which is going for around 50,000. You can probably buy it for, like, some people are trying to sell it very low. It's not really that common, but if you do find someone selling it for low, then get it. So you can try to buy it for around 20k right now, but try to sell it for 50k or more. It's dropping though, so make sure you resell it fast. Then the Rage Blade is going for around a million, dropping but not that fast, so still try to resell it fast. For Rage Blades, you probably want to sell it within a day or two. For Cactus Spikes, you probably want to sell it within maybe like six hours, maybe a little more. But then after that, you can probably get to maybe... I don't know, a billion coins, but somewhere around there, you want to start buying and selling a lot of other items. So, unless if you have, like, a whole bunch of vending machines where you can make a huge shop, which, by the way, if you do want to make a huge shop, again, my values has all values, and it's linked in the description, so you can just check that, and try to sell things for a little bit more than some of the values, see if people buy them, sell them for maybe a little bit less if no one buys them, but you can try selling a whole bunch of different items. I recommend to trade the following items. Crystallized Aquamarine, it's kind of lowering in demand, but it's sort of stabilizing in value. It's going for around 50k. You can probably buy it for maybe 20 to 30k and resell it for 70k. Some people even just want to buy a few and they'll buy it for 200k though. So if you can find good deals like that, you should definitely do that. Crystallized gold is being traded for around 100k. Starfruit seeds are around 25k. Food processors are around 125k. Test totems are around 40k. Vamp bows are around 30k. Tidal spell books are around 25k. All of those are decent items. Like, most of them are normal demand or low demand. I think that food processors may be a little bit high demand, still not early though. They're all going to probably go down a little bit more, but if dupers stop duping them, then they'll probably go to a higher value. Because, like, there are so many of these items, like all of those items I just mentioned, starting from Crystallized Aquamarine, they're so common, and you'll find so many people who own them, because dupers, like, duped probably hundreds of millions, maybe even billions of them, and they're just super easy to find and kind of decent for trading. Then smelters, I don't know why, but, like, they're hardly ever duped. I don't think they're getting duped anymore, but they're going up in value. They're always amazing demand. Right now, they're worth 1.8 million, but you can definitely find people to buy it for 2.5 million, and probably even find sellers to sell it to you for around 1.2 to 1.5 million. They're, like, strictly around the 1.8 million value. 
Because with lower demand items, you'll find people selling them for a lot less because they want to get rid of them. And then some people just want specific items. So for lower demand items, you can get higher prices a little bit. But it's kind of harder to trade them. Smelters are so easy to trade. And they're so profitable. But I recommend only trading them if you have a lot of coins. Because since you don't really have a lot of freedom to sell them for way more than their value is, like you do with the lower demand items, then you're probably going to not make that much unless if you're already able to buy a whole bunch of them. They're never going to drop unless if dupers dupe them again. But I don't know, because like it seems like if they're going to be duped, dupers would have duped them already. But they keep going up, they're never really getting too common. Like... You'll find a lot of duped items that people own millions of, but then smelters, you can barely even find people that have a thousand of them. So smelters are definitely very good for trading. But remember these few important things about trading. Small trades kind of waste your time because imagine if you did a hundred small trades that took the same amount of time as one big trade for like every single trade. You're gonna have wasted a lot of time when you could have just done one trade that you get way more coins from. So like once you hit maybe 10 billion coins, then you should start only doing kinda big trades. And then you can probably even get like 10 billion coins a day. I don't really have that much time to trade because I'm trying to do videos on my second channel. And I'm also doing a school now because my school started again like a week ago. So yeah, I'm not really trading that much, but I still am making a little bit of coins every now and then. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Sorry if it wasn't really that interesting. I was focusing on making a helpful trading video and not really focusing on entertainment. But make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more Islands videos. Like the video. Join my Discord server, links in the description. Follow my Twitter at Telanthric. Use star code Telanthric to support my channel. And linked in the description is a guide called Roblox Islands Guide that has all my helpful videos on it. So if you need help with anything, then check that out because it's probably there. But I'll see you all in the next video.